Okay, we're going to start a series here, uh, and it's about static pressure, and I'm going to make an attempt to explain static pressure and velocity pressure and uh, the pressure that's used in duct work. Now, to start off with, this is not in large industrial or very heavy commercial equipment. I'm dealing with uh, velocities of probably under 1200 feet per minute and uh, commonly about 900 feet per minute and pressures of no more than about one inch water column. So these are very low pressures but it doesn't take a high pressure to get quite a bit of air to move. Okay, now there are three parts to any of these ductwork systems that we're dealing with. Okay, there's a return air here. This is air coming back to the air handler. Air handler's right here from the conditioned space. Okay, there's a pressure drop in this uh, return air due to friction of the walls of the ductwork. Uh, the corners that are made. Uh, of course, down there we got a filter also. And the pressures we, we read here are all going to be negative pressures. Then on the outlet of the fan, it's going to go positive. Or push the air through the supply and it goes out different runs and so on. When we're trying to look at what's happening inside a ductwork, we look at what the pressures are in different places. Okay, in the return, it's all going to be negative pressure because the blower is sucking on the return. So if I were to take, and these little dots here, these are all just uh, little places where I'm going to take pressures. So if I took a pressure reading here, which is very close to the return air grill, uh, I would probably get a very low negative number. If I went down here, the negative number would be higher because we went around the corner and we have friction with the walls of the duct. If I went through the filter, I'm going to have more drop due to the friction of the filter. And all these are going to reduce the amount of air. Every time I increase the resistance, I reduce the air. Okay, then it gets into the fan, moves the air through the fan out of the uh, air handler. And when manufacturers make these air handlers, they talk about external static pressure. They have accounted for the pr uh, pressure loss inside here, so we don't have to deal with it. If they say their equipment can run at one inch water column external static pressure, then that means uh, my total static pressure, it will work up to one inch water column. Now, if it's less than one inch water column, it'll actually move more air. And there are numbers for all these things. Okay, as we go through the heat exchanger, I've got an air conditioning coil up here. There's going to be a pressure drop across that coil. So if I check here, I will get a certain positive pressure. Now I'm getting a positive pressure here. Up here, I would get another positive pressure, but it would read, if I took the difference between these two, it would read the pressure drop of the coil. How much pressure I'm losing with the coil. Okay, when I'm checking in the supply, I'm, I need a static pressure in the supplier too, and, the, and that's actually fairly complicated because you've got duct runs going out here and there. And I'm not going to get too deeply into that right now, but there is a positive pressure in the supply, and of course there's a negative pressure return. Okay, on the next one, we're going to go ahead and take some uh, static pressure measurements on duct work uh, with the fan operating so we can see how these measurements are ta taken and what they look like. 